Now, intelligent people have got always this great defect. With the data available, they intellectually discuss among themselves and very logically they come to a conclusion. While they are declaring the conclusion, they review it and suddenly feels that it is a dire conclusion and they don't want that conclusion. Uh, uh, one day in a restaurant, very near the university, I felt like thirsty and therefore I walked in and I sat down and nearby on a chair, I mean on a, on, on around that table, about seven or eight or ten youngsters are sitting down and one glance, I found that two or three professors also there, they are economists, students of economics and commerce, and they are discussing among themselves rather loudly. Mm. They are reviewing the data and, uh, yes, information that they have gathered about India, the national debt, the national income, and all the data they have got it. If one man doesn't know it, the other man remembers. They were discussing. My coffee came. Now I can't take hot coffee, so I had to wait until it cools down. And all the time I was hearing, and I was turning the face this side, because they may not discover me or recognize me, and they came to the conclusion. Therefore, this country is blasted. This country is, within the next eight months, is completely bankrupt. Gone, gone to the hell. No hope, no future. They came to the conclusion. The professors also came to the conclusion. Students also. Because their logical thinking is taken them to this conclusion. The discussions all ended. There is an utter silence. And in that silence, there is the fragrance of utter sorrow. Why? They don't want this conclusion. Because they have to live. It is their country. And if the country is bankrupt, and there is no hope for the country for tomorrow, what are they going to do? And their children. <coughs> it is at that one of them discovered me and said, Namaste. He sat down, and with his eyes he called everybody. And this chap started asking questions. Samji, what do you think of this country? I think you are right. Logically, that is all the conclusion that you arrive at. What? Your country has no future. Full stop. Samji, Samji, don't pull our leg. Say, <coughs> tell me, what, what, will, what will happen? What will happen? Why? He doesn't want that conclusion. Though that conclusion is based upon data that they know, it is logical, but the last bottom line they don't like. In the same way. Arjuna, by an intellectual process of thinking, laughed and poof the idea of Krishna. What are you talking? Mind is constantly restless. It cannot be controlled. It is as difficult as controlling a, what is that? Uh, a storm. <laughs> Krishna said, you are right. But by practice, and by giving up your clinging attachment to enjoy the uh, pleasures of the, of the sense objects, you can bring the mind slowly to control. However sincere you may be in your knowledge and your study and in your uh, practices, unless you have brought your mind under your control, you can never expect to develop or bring about any unfoldment of spirituality in your bosom. It is then that Arjuna, the intellectual, start a question. You mean to say that just because of this one lack of adjustment, all his effort, all through his life, 
Since your pursuit of spirituality will yield no results, like summer clothes, gave some expectation, but disappointed everybody, and got itself shattered. This intellectual man, who himself has come to this wrong conclusion, he feels that, but this conclusion is not all right. Because he himself doesn't want to conclude that way. Because the conclusion means, once being a human being, there is no question of redeeming yourself. You can't get out of it. This is the conclusion he has arrived at.